going on everybody i know that it has been a while since i've done the video but i did want to talk about something pretty important um came up yesterday and it's been coming up over the last couple of weeks uh it's it's so unique to me uh at my age at 45 um <clears throat> how people still bring toxicity to a game how or to an environment or a community and how there are some communities that, that are built upon negativity and toxicity and, and being critical of others and trying to tear them down <clears throat> and you have to excuse me i'm still getting over having bronchitis here but what really gets to me is how they they want to tear it down and I wanted to talk about that real quick because that's going to have, if you want to be that way, it has its own negative impact to yourself. I play games because I want to escape my daily dose of reality. There is enough negative influences and in media and going ons and shenanigans and worse in the world, in real life, <clears throat> that when I go to play a game, I am escaping my reality. I'm still here for my family. My kids can come in. They can do whatever they want. But I'm escaping my reality. I'm going to come to a game and be something for a little while that isn't my day-to-day. -day. If I want to go and play, say, Destiny 2 and become a guardian that's got a smart butt ghost and be an average player, well, I consider myself a little bit above average. I'm not the best. By no means am I the worst. I just enjoy the game. And I shouldn't be penalized for that. I've been called a potato shooter. I've been called horrible at the game when I started. There are all sorts of extenuating circumstances I don't make excuses for. And what I do is if someone's critical of me, I'll either talk to them, and if they don't want to talk, then I'm like, all right, that's on you. But this is who I am, and everybody knows who I am. I just tell you what I think. I'd be as courteous as possible, but I do have a Hulk for a reason. I do Hulk out intentionally um, to defend my friends or defend myself. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing this video. But I'm trying to put a spin on it to let people know that are attacking others. It's not a good thing, and it's not a good look for you. If you want to be toxic to other people, know there's going to be consequences and labeling of your own self. <clears throat> so yesterday I got hit up um, just out of the blue in um, a text on Xbox. Uh, I'm not going to bring up the names or anything because I, I don't believe in, in, in doing that. They, If they see the video, they know who they are. Um, I've heard things about them I've, from lots of people. And uh, I don't have any ill will towards the person. I've run with them once or twice. But... At that point, when I heard everything and I started seeing all that stuff, I'm just like, I, I don't want to mess with this. I don't want to delve into it. So I steered clear of it. Um, and then other people started talking and, and chatting. And it, it just all of a sudden it escalated. And I'm like, all right, I'm removing myself from this conversation. I don't need the negativity that comes with it. The person they were talking about, yes, he can be a little blunt at times. But that's who he is. And I make the choice to run with him. And he's a good person all around if you get the time to know him. Um, everyone's like that. If you don't like somebody, you don't have to crusade to turn everybody in the world against them. You don't have to crusade to try to make yourself look better than somebody else. All you got to do is say, hey, I don't really care. I'm here to play a game. I'm here to have fun. I am here to go get this done. And then that means I have to avoid one or two people to make that happen. So be it. And if those people want to continue to belittle and berate and talk negative crap about me, that's going to label themselves as somebody that's a troublemaker, that's somebody that likes to find the bad in everything. And those that understand the bigger picture, those that are mature and understand the ability or have the ability to look with both sides of the coin are going to say, eh, maybe I need to distance myself from them too. So if you want to be toxic, you become toxic. If you want to become positive, you become positive. You control who you are especially in this realm of virtual reality. We unplug from reality and we go into a game and become whoever we want to become. We define ourselves and our personas online. Okay? Uh, I, I got a couple quotes that I, I really do. Um, 
I, I, I sum up everything pretty well. Uh, well. The first one started with you know uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, one of our presidents, and um, <clears throat> then the next one came off uh, as kind of a thing off of that. Great minds discuss ideas, perfect. Average minds discuss events. So great minds, we're trying to find things. We're, 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 we think of things. We try to explore, invent, discover. Go find what is amazing. Average minds discuss things that have happened, things that have happened in the news. Some, some, someone got raided first. Uh, some, some company got hacked, something like that. We're discussing that. Are we advancing things? Maybe because we're reacting and we might be coming up with ways to better it. Kind of like this video here. It's a reaction to events that have transpired over the last couple of days and over the last couple of years as, uh, as I've been a gamer. And then small people discuss people. It, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. And that feeds into the small people talk about other people. Average people talk about things and big people talk about ideas. It's kind of like the flip on it. Which one do you fall into? Which one do you want to be known for? Do you want to know for, be known for somebody that thinks big and tries to find new things and comes up with new ideas? Do you want to be somebody that, you know, they, they, they try to put a perspective on the games or the events that have happened and then put to those events to ideas? Or do you want to delineate and filter down those events to people and be hypoc hypocritical of those people and become toxic? Or do you want to become somebody that can be a leader in the community or a follower. You make your choice. I have seen way too many people in my time come into a party chat, come into an environment, and act one way so they can fit in, gather information, and then go to another party, and all of a sudden they're a completely different person. And the people they were just joking around with, just having a good time with, all of a sudden they're just talking crap about them. And that does get back to those people. You want to ruin your own experience in the game playing with people that would normally have a fun time playing with you. Go ahead, talk crap about them. Talk trash about them. They'll stop playing with you and you'll have to go find somebody else. One of the things I love about gaming is not only do I get to, again, escape reality for a couple hours, but the friends that I have made over the years, these are true friends, and I accept every person I've made as a friend, faults or not. I, it doesn't mean I haven't had arguments with them. I haven't had falling outs with them, but we've reconciled. We've talked it out. We, we got upset, maybe not talked to each other for a day or two, and then we move on. And we've also come to conclusions. Maybe there's one or two guys. I love the person, but I just won't play certain activities with them. But everything else is just fine because I accept them for who they are. I don't expect them to be anything else because that's not fair to them and that's not fair to me. <clears throat> but if you want to talk specifically about stuff like that, I, I, I don't know, you know, um, I'm trying to find this quote that I had on my phone and I, and I should have posted it. Um, Okay, it, and this one, I, I, I like this one. Uh, maybe I'll use this as, as, as the thumbnail for the video. It says, may your character preach more loudly than your words, okay? May your character preach more loudly than your words. What kind of gamer do you want to be? Do you want to be toxic? Do you want to be labeled as somebody that's toxic? Do you want to be labeled as somebody that looks for the bad and spreads all this crap? Or do you want to be you know, someone that shows up and plays the game and has fun, makes jokes, and has a good time? That doesn't mean there won't be conflict, and that doesn't mean there won't be disagreements. But typically, people will talk it out. If I got a problem with somebody, I'm not going to go talk to everybody else in the world behind that person's back. I'm going to tell the person straight up, hey, I've got issues. And if the person doesn't want to talk to me, they don't want to talk to me. Or if they want to talk to me, then we work things out, and we get a middle ground, and we move forward. But I'm not going to be toxic to other people. I might vent if I have had a bad experience to a couple trusted confidants, but I know those people were really good friends, and they know that when I am venting, I am not trying to be toxic. I am not trying to kneecap somebody behind their back. I am trying to get something off my chest and figure out how the best course of action to respond to it is. And these are my, my, my friends that are confidants that are just as mature. 
So my challenge to you, my question to you is what type of person? One, do you want to be in real life? Are you going to carry these attitudes and behaviors over into real life? What kind of gamer do you want to be? Coming into a game and trying somebody ruin somebody's fun because you don't like them or they rubbed you the wrong way or you don't feel that they play the way that they need to play <clears throat> shouldn't matter to, to you. If you don't like it, don't play with them. But you shouldn't go out of your way to cancel culture them because you have a problem or because you have some sort of um, inferiority complex or you're sensitive to something. Move on. It's, it's, it's a virtual world. It's huge. You're going to run into them occasionally, yeah. Circles and things and cliques and clans and all that other stuff. But there's absolutely no reason whatsoever to go out of your way to ruin someone's life. That comes back on you, and it's karma. So don't do it. Because remember, we're here to have fun. We're all to have make friends and stuff. And you get to be known for who you are. You define your actions and your words live on. They define you in every community that you move into, whether it be real or reality or gaming or whatever it might be. They are going to define you. Do you have integrity? Are you upstanding? Can you be trusted? Or if people want to know you, yeah, that guy's really nice. He's knowledgeable. He's going to try his best to help you out. He's not the best. He has a gimpy hand. But, you know, he still tries. Or are you going to be the person and your name pops up? Oh, that guy, he just talks crap about other people. That's his thing. That's what he does. Who do you want to be known for? Who do you want to be known for? That's what I want to ask you. You define you. Who do you want to be known as when your name comes up in a conversation? When it is seen on a screen? When it is seen in a fire team? When it is seen in a raid? Whatever you're doing, who do you want to be known as? Who do you want to define your identity as? Because you control that. You dictate that. And if people are out there still attacking you, people are still out there being toxic to you, they have no impact on your life whatsoever unless you let them. Move on. Remove them from your life. And just do your thing. Have fun. Don't let them win. Don't let them have impact. You be you. Let them be them. Everything will catch up in the end run. I'm here to have fun. If you guys ever need to talk, if you ever feel like you're getting bullied by somebody, let me know. I'm a good ear. And I might have some some ideas on how to, to cope with it and deal with it and work around it. That's why I got asked yesterday. But remember, everybody, both positive and toxic people out there, you define you. In the end of the day, you define who you are known for, what you were known for. That's all there is to it. If you have problems with me, please let me know. I'd love to talk it out. I'm always available. I don't mind talking. All right? I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you guys have a great time enjoying your games, escaping the reality when you do it, or whatever activities you do. Keep safe. Have fun with your families and friends. As always, much love, much respect, and I'll see you guys in the games.